What is the difference between a research question and a hypothesis? So once you have decided on what you're going to research, you need to have some kind of question or a statement that you will essentially answer. And this confuses a lot of students. Do I need a question? Do I need a statement or a hypothesis? Do I need both? Well, I'm going to clear this up in this video today. If you are new here, my name is Dr. Hayley Stainton. I have supervised probably thousands of dissertations and research projects. So I've seen students ask all the questions, make all the mistakes. So I'm giving you the tips so that you don't make those mistakes. So let's start by answering the question, what is a research question? A research question is quite simply a question that your research intends to address. Your research does not necessarily need to answer this question in black and white. It could be more explorative in nature. Providing detailed and analytical justifications of how or why, the question might not be completely answered. So you could ask any question that you think is appropriate for your topic. So I might ask, why do people want to travel to the Maldives? Or I might ask, how safe do people feel traveling in Kenya? Or whatever. I don't have to answer it 100%, but I need to give it a good go and demonstrate that I've done that in my project. Good research questions must be clear and easy to understand. Specific with a definite focus. Answerable. So it must be possible to collect the necessary data to answer the question, whether that be in full or in part. And relevant to your area of study. Okay, so I think most people were probably okay with what a question is. But what is a hypothesis? Unlike a research question, a hypothesis is a statement. A hypothesis is essentially a, a proposition or a suggestion about how something might work or might behave. You as the researcher can develop your own hypothesis on the grounds of informal observation, your own experience, whatever really. You could also develop your hypothesis based on stuff that you've read on the existing literature. The intention of your research is to prove or disprove this hypothesis, whether that is in full or in part. That doesn't matter so much as long as you address it as much as you can within the realms of your project. So a hypothesis could be, most people travel to the Maldives for a romantic break. And you prove that yes, most people do travel for that reason, or actually no, there are lots of different reasons why people will travel to the Maldives. Another example could be that most tourists do not feel safe to visit Kenya. And then you could explore this issue and you decide actually, yes, this is true, no, this is not true. This is sometimes true, sometimes not true. Whatever your research comes up with. There's not really a right or wrong way to go about it, as long as you address your hypothesis within your studies. A good hypothesis must be clear and easy to understand, specific with a definite focus, answerable, you must be able to collect the necessary data, and relevant to your area of study. So do I need a hypothesis and a research question? No. Not unless your, your lecturer or supervisor tells you to do that. Generally, the answer is no, you do not need both. One or the other is perfectly sufficient. Are they the same? Well, no, because one's a question and one's a statement. The question or the statement can equally provide or, or invoke the, the same research. So oftentimes it's, it's more of a matter of choice, really, about which one you use. So what is your research question or hypothesis that you have been thinking about? Why don't you let me know in the comments because I'm super interested to know what it is you're studying. Drop it in the comments and if you are doing a research project you're definitely going to want to check out some of these other videos to help you, to help guide you on your way and help you get really good grades. 